I'm Katrina. This is So in Terror, and uh, guys, I got an umbrella for my camera, <laughs> which means we're gonna go outside and do some things. I already did some things earlier earlier in the day, um, but I'm gonna show you guys some stuff and hopefully repair an area. And that's what the camera's gonna be wearing an umbrella. Now this umbrella for the camera is for a hot shoe. I have a cold shoe. Um, so I, all that means is basically I'm gonna put like a piece of paper underneath it and it'll be tight enough. So here is me putting it on. <laughs> one handed. This did actually tighten down that I didn't have to uh, shim it at all. All right, let's see if I can do this one handed. <laughs> Oh my gosh! It's a little umbrella! <laughs> Alright. Oops. So, let's see how this goes on. It should just slide in. There we go. It should slide in. And then I needed two hands to clamp that down. All right, there it is. And then this is adjustable, so it should be able to slide down. And I can angle it too if I want to, but isn't that fun? All right, we are going to go try this. All right, this is 0.36 of an inch of rain. I'm going to keep keeping an eye on this. I have not hooked up this yet because I don't have the angle. Uh, the gutter person was going to leave. All right, two and a half hours later, it's been raining. And so it looks like it might be going out of the pantry a little. But looks like it's doing okay. It is filling up this and going down. It is coming down. Man. So this is draining right to the back of the house. And this ends right here. So there's really no other place to drain it. Like unless we were to like shoot it over there, which might sound like a good idea. Um but what I'm looking is right underneath the pantry, it looks like water's going. So I'm gonna try and get under there. Get over there and figure this out. I'm on my tiptoes. Okay, that's too deep. These are not full, full length. Okay. So right there is where my concern is. So I think I'm gonna dig this. I'm gonna dig something out of the side of the hill and put it there. All right, so that's my temporary fix. Um, I just took it from here, but it does look like it doesn't go around the corner because the corner is too tall, too high. So I'm going to dig that out just a little so that it drains. This is my hat. <laughs> um, anyway, I was warned to keep the weeds free around the corner here. And I did that. And then also, um, I'm going to be hooking up those but I need a connector for this and I'm actually thinking long term I don't even know how how long they make them but I might ask the gutter person to make like a downspout that goes instead of down maybe it goes like over there somehow I don't know see how expensive that would be and um It'd probably be better than having the water go all the way around from almost flat. Here we go. All right, things are flowing. I think I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper here because it's definitely, I'm gonna put down my little hat there. It's definitely increasing, increasing the flow, which will help protect the house. All right, it's flowing now around the corner, but it looks like there's a high spot right here. 
I'm going to be uh, digging after work. I just got back from Azure Standard Drop um, and took a quick break for that. And then I do need to finish up work and then um, I'll be doing that. I just wanted to take care of that, those couple things that I saw because this is the first uh, big rainstorm that has been in the light and not at dark. So there we go. And this is more than an inch. It's just barely spilling over into the outer one. But that's how, you know, it's more than an inch. You can see the water on the top. We'll see what it is tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go outside and check on a uh, trench that I dug and then I'm probably going to, or trench that I redug. I don't know. And then check on um, further down that trench. It looked like it got high again, so I probably need to uh, make it go down. So this is an area that I believe I will probably narrate over because I didn't get out my other mic <laughs> that goes on the jacket or whatever. Um, I'm guessing with the rain, the microphone's gonna pick up the rain. So I will probably voice over this. So this is a hundred feet of four inch pipe, drain pipe without the holes. And this is an elbow for four inch. And I think if I put this on here and put a rock or something underneath, that should hold it. Okay, so these have these knots. Basically, once you push this through this, it's a slip knot. The other ones are really easy, but here's a, t a, a tip. If you twist, this is the loop side. If you twist that and push it, well, it works better if there's two hands, but it makes this come through. If you pull with the other hand there, it works a lot better. But twisting it and pushing it through, it helps get it through. If you want to keep the whole line. Which I do, because they're strong. I have just rounded the corner. This is the back of the house. There's a downspout we saw before. It looks like things have subsided, have gone off down the way it's supposed to go. But I'm just walking this to make sure and see how see how my fix went. So it looks like it's sturdy. Looks right along here. I put all that dirt there. Looks like it's holding. All right. This puddle looks like it's still a puddle. All the way over there. It's, it's a little smaller, but let's see what we can see. <laughs> let's see how deep it is. Okay, it's not as deep as it was before, which is good. And dry there. So this is one place um, I want to either put a French drain or uh, bring the water from this around the house to the culvert to the ditch. I kind of think the ladder, the ladder is a better idea. The French drain could also happen. Um, I don't know how far down I would have to get for the percolation to go. I do know my well is only seven feet deep. It is a little bit downhill from here, but I don't know if it's just like the surface water is just going to be high here or not. So that's why I'm thinking running it to the street is the best idea. I have an idea for downspout to instead go down to have it maybe angle across. And I don't know. Um, we'll have to see how that works with the person who installed the gutters. Um, if he's willing to do that, I mean, obviously it would be extra cost. But I think it might be best to do that and then have it hook up with the other drain um, to go to go down. Uh, the, the, to hook up with the other downspout. So I think this one I'm going to do 
later but right now I've been waiting on the connection here to the angle um, their vehicle broke down so I have actually I got an extra angle when I got the uh, the drain pipe so let me see I don't know if they screwed this in here. I don't think they did. I think they just shoved it on there. Okay, so I think I could probably put that angle on here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, my light shut off on me. So um, here we go. I have the angle. Oopsie. I have the angle which I'm going to put onto the downspout and then this is going to connect up to this which is four inches and it just snaps on. I'm going to do this once I'm down there because um, then it will be facing the right direction. I don't know how these probably turn okay but I just don't want to chance it. So. Um, I have no idea how far this light will go, but we're going to try and, well, we'll try and show part of it. Um, my light went out, so that's why it's a little bit darker now. <laughs> a little bit by a lot. <laughs> All right, that's about the right distance. Let me go get the rest of it. There's the end. This drains the majority of the house. So like all the back part of the house. It's unfortunate I left this out. The good thing is you guys are dry. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna hook this up. I'm going to try and take off just this one. I know this one comes off, but oh, it's on pretty good. All right. We're just going to try this. And if it doesn't work very well, I'll put that one back on. But, oh man in it. I need to lift it up with something. I think that something's going to be this. Maybe. I don't want to damage this in case I need it again. Actually, that right there will probably do the trick. Alright, doesn't quite fit right, but it's doing what I need it to do. I'm straining into that pipe. And this should work. I just need to block this, make sure it's kind of flattish, and then cut it at the other end. Let's see how we do. Alright, so far the camera's pretty dry. There's a couple dots on the front. I think just just because I tilted it down. Right, there's not much room to walk here. It definitely needs to go down here. So we've got another side. Alright, so this needs to go this way. 
sit down. We're gonna have to put weights on this. Okay, I needed to not be carrying things. Let's see if you can see what I can see. Now it's gonna take a long time for this to actually fill with water. At this rate, I mean, if it, if it pours, it won't. I just wanna make sure this stays down. So it doesn't back up at that one location. Eventually, these two will go, so this one will go in this one. I didn't realize that was a three inch or a two inch. I don't even know what it is, it's smaller. Um, I do have a connector for four inch and four inch, but um, I might just use that. Not tonight though. Okay, it is awfully muddy down there. So what I'm gonna do, it's pretty much on the ground to here and it has, oh, I don't know, 20 feet to go, but I need to cut that other end so I can put it underneath. There's like this little platform it has like a den underneath it. I think Mama Kitty had her cats, had her kittens under there for a while. But um, anyway, so I'm gonna cut it here. I would use a hacksaw, but I can't find mine. So I was gonna use a sawzaw and luckily there's an outlet right here. So I can do that. I think what I'm gonna do is try and cut it just a little bit long and then I can shorten it or I can shove it down this pipe and deal with it later um, as far as shortening but uh, that will be that'll be my goal is to have it a little bit longer than what I want. All right I said I was eating this apple later I am eating it now. I got things rolled out. Good thing I didn't get just 50 feet because it's more than 50 feet. Apples in November. <laughs> They're starting to get soft, but they taste good still, so it's okay. All right, now I'm going to take this end, put it back, and then try and push it through. And I think I'm gonna tape the end so I don't scoop up dirt. <laughs> so I don't know how much you guys will actually see, but I'm just gonna bring the pipe back and put it underneath. And then I'll walk the pipe again, make sure it's good, and uh, hope it is going in the right direction. <laughs> Because this pipe has some memory, it's been, you know, in a coil for I don't know how long. It is kind of difficult to work with, but it's okay. Apples up for the deer. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but it's in a in a uh, circle. And uh, it needs to be turned. an end. It's through the to the end but it's kinked here so basically this whole thing needs to turn. Uh, see this is above ground. I would just go like this and walk it all the way down but I can't do that. I think I'm going to have to do that. I 
I fiddled with this so much and it is frustrating because it does keep that bend. But I finally got it straight. I'm not going to show you guys the whole process. Um, and then I found the brilliant solution, which I should have figured out um, without wasting so much time of how to get it through that little area. Here's my idea. I have tied a rope onto this fruit picker, which I'm going to put underneath and grab for the other side, and that will pull this rope through. I'll put it through this way, sorry. Pull that rope through, and then I'll tie this rope to the pipe, and then hopefully that will work. I'll be able to pull it straight through. This is a trick for electrical. It's not with rope though. They have this like special thing and then they hook up a vacuum, like a vacuum cleaner, and then that vacuums up their special rope and then um, you can just pull it through. So that's what we're gonna try. All right, there's the handle. So I just pulled this through, the rope is there. Should have done this the first time. Now, if I knew all the, all the knots I should know, I would do that knot. I used to know more knots than I do now, and I should know more. So, if you have a suggestion, not a complaint, a suggestion on what type of knot should apply here, go ahead and put it in the comments and we'll learn it. How easy was that? Come on. All right, now I gotta check the other side because I'm sure it's kinked. But that's the easiest way to do it. So if you're asking how the efficient way is to do it, it was that. Skip all the stuff I did before. Alright, that's nice and straight. Make sure it's still connected up there. And it looks like it's still connected. So, just putting this part down. see how much water's coming out of here. Hopefully some. Well, that was my first video in the rain with the umbrella on the camera. There we go. That's better. All right, you guys watch for flow while I go check the other side. All right, you can hear it in the gutter. Well, it keeps going. It's not overflowing. That's good. Nice. Now, ideally, that would be a real connection there, but it's not. Um, <laughs> but it's going to work, so we can deal with that later.
All right, this might be sitting somewhere in the pipe. I'm not gonna walk that way because I don't wanna move the pipe. Pretty cool though. So I think the key will be if that puddle's there in the morning or if it's greatly reduced, then that will be the, the key of if things overflowed overnight. We'll work on it if it does. So still no water here, which probably means there's a high point, but it's not backing up on the other side. So we're gonna guess things are going okay. Let's see if we see an obvious, obvious up. It might be underneath the thing here. Like right there maybe. Well, we'll just have to see. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video because it took a lot of work. <laughs> it really shouldn't, but it does. Uh, those things, when they're coiled, they have that memory. And the memory, um, you have to like twist it, untwist it again. So anyway, I'm going inside and take a shower. <laughs> I'm all muddy. Uh, thank you for watching. Hit the like if you liked it. Tell me how your rainy winter is, if your winter is rainy, and what things you do uh, for your rain. And have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.